Next, I would like to talk about online data file move, which is a feature that was introduced in 12.1, and it is an enterprise edition feature. You can use it to rename a data file. In this example, I'm giving a data file a new name, but I could also use it to relocate the file into a different directory or even to a different mount point. You could imagine that the data stored in that data file is no longer accessed that much, and you want to move it to a lower cost storage. You can move data files from regular table spaces, but you can even do it from system table spaces like sysox and undo, but it doesn't work for temp files. You can also use it to relocate your data files into ASM. If you want to do that, you just have to specify the ASM disk group name and the database will automatically generate an OMF name. You can also use it to generate OMF names for your data files, even if you're not using ASM. Simply omit the destination part of the command and the database will generate an OMF name. And you can also see here that I'm using the file ID as a reference instead of the full file name. If you live in the multi-tenant world, you should be aware that the alter database move data file command only works within the current container. So if you're logged into CDB dollar root, you can only move data files that belong to the root container. If you need to work on a data file that belongs to a PDB, you have to switch into that PDB and then issue the command. I have a demo that shows how we can move a data file from one location to the other and still access the, the data. So let's see how it works. I have my uh, user 01 data file that I would like to relocate into a different folder. So I use the older database move data file command. And while that happens, while the database is copying the file, in another session, I'll try to access uh, some data that is stored in that data file. I have the lots of data table, which belongs to the users table space. And as you can see, I can still query the data even though the data file is being moved by the database. There it is, it has the new location. Now imagine that I want to relocate the file into ASM. I have my create file there set to ASM and I simply use the file ID as a reference and I omit the destination part and the database will generate an OMF name in ASM and start to move the file. That's very simple. It's so easy and you can move your data files around even when the database is online and the data is being accessed. 